Hey guys, I'm Johnny FD and today I'm making Ukrainian borscht for my Russian friends who are stuck here in Sri Lanka. So first of all, what? Show? <laughs> So first we're gonna buy some uh, vegetables to make the borscht. Come on in. So we need some onions. Lots of onions. And, uh, cabbage. Some potatoes. Cabbage. Nah, they don't like it spicy. <laughs> uh, some beets. How many beets we need? More? We have a nice big basket yeah, of uh, vegetables. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Garlic. This is uh, an important ingredient. So, we need more beets. <laughs> yeah. Let's buy all these. <laughs> So now I'm at the Food City supermarket to pick up a couple of random ingredients I couldn't find in the market, like some beef, some sour cream that's curd here because there's no sour cream, and a couple other just random ingredients. We're gonna go back and we're gonna cook. So here's everything that we got. This is just to eat. We have some curd, tomatoes, uh, they put it together, it's fine. Some cabbage. This is the beef that I can find. Some butter, this is the best butter in the world. Black pepper, some salt, yeah, and no, this isn't mine. I don't need four things of toothpaste. <laughs> all right, so here is all the vegetables for the borscht. We have onions, potatoes, beets, garlic, way more beets, some carrots, cabbage, tomatoes, a little parsley, cilantro for garnish. We're making the stock out of beef. We have some uh, black pepper, some salt, a little bit of butter, tomato puree, because I couldn't find paste. And we're using curd because I can't find sour cream. But all of this is going to become, hopefully, Ukrainian borscht. All right, so step one is we are just browning some of this beef before we make the stock. So this is going to be some nice butter. Normally I like beef with bones in it, but you can't find it here in Sri Lanka, so this is what we're suffering with. What we're doing is we're just browning the beef a bit as a shortcut to try to get uh, some broth going, so we we'll don't have any time. The Russians are coming in for the hours. This is actually not boiled yet, so I'm going to transfer it to the plate. So I've solicited some help from a real Ukrainian. <laughs> Thank you for peeling the potatoes. <laughs> so the soup broth is boiling. I'm just going to let it simmer. Why are you using this? Why are you using uh, a knife? No, no, it's, it's it doesn't work. It's bit, yeah. Oh, now this is the hardcore style. <laughs> All right. So now. Uh, Rough cut some potatoes. This broth looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's some like, take a look. This broth is
what, do you think, it, what is the chance that I, I can make a, a Ukrainian voice? 50-50, uh, either you can or you can't. <laughs> Only one of two. Uh, can, uh, can you cook borscht? Uh, yeah, but actually we cook without onion because we don't eat Oh them. no! But maybe we can just put oh, it aside. No. Okay. <laughs> you, you like borscht? Can, yes, can, can, can you cook borscht? Can you make borscht? Uh, no. <laughs> So the American yeah. guy? No, no, I like borscht. Can make borscht better than the Ukrainian guy. But I have some help. From Ukrainian girl. Who has never made borscht before? Yes. Oh, so American guy, Korean guy, who looks like Chinese and Mongolian. He's <laughs> Ukrainian girl, how is a good borscht? In Sri Lanka. This is unique. <laughs> all these beets and you can see the color is starting to turn a bit purple. I don't know what they call it, red borscht, it's definitely purple borscht. No, I learned on YouTube. <laughs> but I learned while in Ukraine, so maybe it was That's the secret of peeling garlic fast. Alright, so now we have some rough cut onions and garlic. This mm. If you guys can smell this right now, it's so good. Mm. It's so good already. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 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 So we got the tomatoes ready, now we're gonna chop some cabbage. I need a bigger cutting board. Confusion if you weren't cooking this in borscht though. This is Shulantan borscht. Yummy. Alright, so they don't have tomato paste, but they have tomato puree. Oh, actually, this is tomato paste. Perfect. They just have a different name. So we have some of this. We put it into each one. Just to thicken up, give it some taste. We forgot to forget our favorite one. Oh, this one's looking good. This one's like a pressure cooker. It's going to be the most tasty. Give us some tomatoes. So we have the fresh puree and the mixed. We have some no, more you Ukrainians. Learn Ukrainian. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Diaku you. Everybody waiting for borscht. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you had borscht? Hmm. Maybe four months ago. Yeah. When was your last borscht? She she has not had borscht in so long. She is shy. <laughs> Elena, when was the last time you had borscht? Actually, it was last month because one Russian girl like cooked it uh, for me. So it's like the first time after five years, I guess. So, wow. Yeah. And how was it? 
it was nice, but I'm like waiting for yours oh. actually. <laughs> Everybody is waiting. Yeah. <laughs> so we should make a video like expectation yeah. reality. I know. <laughs> okay, before, so before borscht and after. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when was the last time you had borscht? Um, four months ago I prepared. Yeah? Yes. Why aren't you in the kitchen now? <laughs> 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 why why is the American guy cooking borscht? <laughs> Still nobody has explained this. The Ukrainian guys come to try your borscht. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Just wait yeah. for you. Yeah. We made it today. <laughs> so, okay, from Russia? Yes, I'm from Russia. Ukraine? 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 Ukraine. Ukraine. America. Christina, <laughs> Ukraine. <laughs> so, it's pretty much all done, and we just have to let it sit for another half an hour to really get the flavors in. But I'm excited. We have all the Russians and Ukrainians here. <laughs> and I'm a bit nervous, but I think I think they're gonna like it. it. Looks good. So now we have this, this parsley or cilantro, we don't really know what it is. But they have no dill in chocolate. Yeah. So out of our three pots of borscht, this one is definitely our favorite. But these two are looking good too. Oh. So guys, everyone has a cameras out there, excited? Yeah. And to borscht. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, with no meat, no onion, and no um, garlic. And no borscht. <laughs> Not really borscht, but you know, we'll see. Kind of. Special. Yeah. <laughs> and that is a uh, real borscht. Actually, you're gonna help yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. This one's a normal one. So I'm a bit nervous because this is my second time making uh, borscht in Ukraine. I mean, uh, <laughs> Same time in Sri Lanka, I made it a few times in Ukraine. But this is, look how big this is. Uh, Priyana Apativa? <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Tell me how it is. Oh, he's already mixed it. That looks like mush. Yes, it's still great. Oh my god. Is it, have you had your first bite yet? Ah. It's hot? <laughs> mm. It's so hot. But so good. What do you think? Krishna? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> we need the interview. Oh. Mm. So good. Jodia, thank you very much. It's so good. Pretty yeah, really good. This is how we Jodia, make it. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So delicious by Ukraine. Yeah? yeah. You're approved. Does, does it taste really like borscht? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. It's amazing. I'm in love with this borscht. Mm. It's really true, true Ukrainian borscht. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Hold on, we'll wait for the music. What do you think? Oh, it's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Join you, you are professional with. I prepared yeah. myself only for photo, not for video. <laughs> okay. Prepared. Now, now say. How was it? Yes, perfect. It's the best in my life. No, near it. <laughs> no, after. 
<laughs> but don't worry, we have more Russians. Well, actually, Kazakhstan. Uh, how's the bush? So tasty, very tasty. <laughs> You're also from Kazakhstan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ukrainian national dish. <laughs> it's not like Sri Lankan food, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to the bathroom. But <laughs> But while I'm gone. I want you to pass around the phone and tell and be honest if the bush was really good because I am here so I know that for sure you gonna say it's good, but be honest. And you can say it in Russian, we can translate. Okay. Okay, I don't listen. <laughs> okay, so your true opinion of this borsh? Is it really so much delicious? Oh no. No. Неожиданно, что реально да. борщ настоящий, очень вкусный. Это не постановочный. Очень классный, нам даже приготовили без лука и чеснока по рецепту, по специальному. Классно. Это очень смачно было, наше запускать что-то. Борщ с украинской изюминкой. Это украина еврейская изюминка уже. Да, он действительно очень вкусный, мы вот с Украины, и это прям настоящий борщ, как дома. Что это имя? Диана. Диана. Меня зовут Джонни. Окей. Диана, что ты думаешь о борщ? Это очень вкусно. Ты не просто говоришь это, чтобы быть приятным? Нет, нет, это реально как... Natural Ukrainian borscht. Oh. And you are from Ukraine? <laughs> no, from but Russia. I was in Ukraine. Okay. And yeah. where are you from? From Russia. So you know borscht? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Что это? Это тыква. Fresh mango. Yeah. And some cookies for desserts. Uh, and there we have it. A successful borscht party. What do you think? Uh, it was amazing, amazing, true Ukrainian yeah. version. Even I was surprised. I didn't think I could pull it off, but the, the Ukrainians, the Russians, even the Kazakhs liked it. So there you have it. Ukrainian borscht for Russians in Sri Lanka. That's me, Danya. Bye bye. If you can get it started. <laughs> there you go. That's me, Danya.